hi. <clears throat> My name is Dave Brisbois. So Dave is a great, I call my, my brother from the Great White North, right? So he lives up here, he's in AWS. Um, he usually comes and talks about Migration Evaluator. And I enjoy working with him. We learn each, from each other on our styles as far as presenting. So you may see some, for those of that you've seen Dave's presentation, you may see me interject some things in there as well. Uh, what Dave would normally talk to you about today is Migration Evaluator. So does anybody have any experience with Migration Evaluator? Okay, so um, I'm actually, I'm gonna skip a couple of slides because you know, Yeshima's keeping me on time and everything like that, right? Um, so when we think about, there's a couple of different things. We talked about three different phases, right, um, of migrations. You guys remember what those were? What was the first phase? Assessments, right, assessments. Second one, mobilize, right, mobilize. And the third one is migrate and modernize. So assessments, this optimization and licensing assessment is something that AWS offers. So we can help run that for your end customers in conjunction with AWS. So what is optimization and licensing assessment? So um, who's a big competitor that makes it really hard to do licensing? So um, that is a really great tool because then it's, it, it goes through and it figures out how many instances that an end customer has, um, you know, physical or virtual, to be able to see what their licensing components are. Is it, do, are they just having licenses for the OS? Are there a certain very popular database engine that uh, has a lot of licensing complications in there? Yeah. Um, how do we gather that data for our end customers and present them with the best options on AWS to utilize that licensing at the best price? And that's the optimization and licensing assessment features. So we'll go a little bit um, more into that. So when we're talking about AWS, remember I'm Dave Brisbois, I'm at AWS. So when I say, what is, what is AWS hearing from our customers, right? So AWS seems complicated, licensing's complex, on-site investments are holding me back, we need help with the roadmap. Anybody ever get that last one? Licenses can't be moved to AWS? Okay, good, because they can. So one of the things that AWS, they've got a dedicated team that works with Microsoft workloads and especially around licensing. So if you have any problems, they'll be able to work with you on that. So I talked a little bit about the OLA, but a couple of things here. So you're gonna be able to optimize the best cost for the licenses, right size your instances, Anybody here ever work with end customers that, you know, they still got physical hardware? So what's their, what's their cycle? So I used to work at HP a long time ago. Um, and the cycle at HP was like we had to, for an application, we had to sit there and say, okay, every three years, we got uh, to figure out what kind of CPU we need and project that out for another three years. Same for memory and storage. And it was just endless cycle. And of course, if you're in the application team, what do you do? you ask for more than you need, right? You always ask for more than you need. So, but this will help right size to where all you need in the cloud, since you're, this is what you need is on demand, it's gonna find out exactly what you need. So that leads me right into this. So what are some of the savings on right sizing? So uh, 36 compute savings versus on premises. Look at that, that database licensing that's there. That's a big, savings, almost 15% in SQL core savings. That's amazing. So benefits to the clients, the asset discovery, being able to sit there and plan, leverage existing license agreements on AWS. You don't have to go in and build a whole new machine image and use the licenses that are provided by AWS. If you have software assurance and you meet some of the certain requirements, you can bring those licenses to AWS. Um, Seamless migration, being able to lower migration cost, faster migration to cloud modernization, right? Being able to modernize that vision. So how does Ingram help? So this is Migration Evaluator Console. This is another, um, another evaluation tool. Anybody in the, have submitted any opportunities into AWS's Customer Engagement Portal or ACE? Are you familiar with that? So John has, thank you. I think the hands are broken again. Like when Francisco was doing this, everybody's hands were going up. I'm just not asking the right questions, to be honest. Um, 
But when you use an ACE opportunity, when you go in and create an ACE opportunity, one of the things that you can do is you can request a migration evaluator, and that goes to the migration evaluator team, and they'll come in and put in a license. Where we jump in is we come in and we work to install uh, that particular software at the end, end customer. Within two days, it's gonna gather a lot of great data. That's gonna be important about right sizing, um, and it's gonna be able to help them uh, understand a little bit more about what it's gonna take to get to cloud. I suddenly asked this question. Anybody use the AWS pricing calculator? So, Parnish does it, right? There, there you go, I like it, two-handed, two-handed, give me two hands up, all right. Um, pricing calculator is good. It's not an apples to apples comparison of physical to cloud. Um, and it's the best way that I advise customers to proceed is that you need to get an assessment to figure out what I have in the environment, be right sized. I don't want to be moving everything as it is into the cloud. I want to be able to optimize that first, uh, first of all. And then second, is there an opportunity when I get in the cloud to modernize that, to make it more efficient um, and more capable of using AWS services? And so it's not, we all have dealt with some pretty big monolithic applications, right? Breaking that apart into little components just makes it so much easier. But Migration Evaluator helps gather this data. So within two days, it'll give you um, some quick insights. Um, it's almost like I knew that was the next exact slide right there. So it'll give you some good, quick insights on everything, and then if you let it run for a couple more weeks, it'll give you even more detailed data. So new reports generated every day at 2 a.m. All right, this is the optimizing and licensing assessments I was talking about as well. So it's helping reduce, bring your own configurations. The big key right here, where's Mike? I'm gonna use the laser pointer, but not on you. Um, bring your own license, being able to reduce cost by bring your own license and everything. Uh, technical performance, so over-specified, under-utilized resources, again, optimizing, and then providing those results. So next steps, work with your AWS account team. So oh, I was like, there's Logan, he's going by right now. And there's Ishmael, he can help out with this too. So Ishmael, we were talking about you know, how to help out with migration evaluator, like you've got some experience working on that, right? So what does an assessment opportunity look like? Uh, it could be any kind of, the great thing is, especially is when you've got upcoming contract renewals around licensing, that's an optimal time. Uh, data centers, sometimes moving out of data centers, it's, it's costly to stay where they are. Um, companies acquiring companies and trying to combine these things. Uh, modernization I talked about, and then uh, competitor accounts. So you can scan this QR code, all right, I'm waiting for all the phones to go up and like scan the QR code. Thank you, everybody, thank you.